I'm Alan Brito from Blender 3D Architect and welcome to this tutorial about polar coordinates in Blender. Let me give you a brief introduction or explain to you how you can use polar coordinates in Blender. It's an option, uh, it's uh, quite useful for precision modeling in Blender if you are trying to work uh, with Blender for architecture, engineering, uh, 3D printing, uh, it, it's uh, incredibly useful but it's buried inside an add-on that ships with Blender for quite some time, but it, uh, is, it always starts disabled by default in Blender. But before we jump into Blender and I, get, uh, and I explain how to use polar coordinates, what are polar coordinates, how you can use them and why you should care about them. If you have any previous experience with uh, CAD tools like AutoCAD, QCAD, you probably used uh, polar coordinates before, but if you don't have any of those uh, previous experience, let me explain. Let me give you a brief introduction about polar coordinates. We can use something like AutoCAD. I have AutoCAD 2024 here. And to use polar coordinates, we can start with a line. Let's get a first point. I will click here and to specify the distance and angle for this line, you can type at then you can type the distance, for instance, one, and you will be using a symbol, uh, something like less than, and the angle that you need, for instance, 90 degrees. If I press enter, it will create a, a tiny line here, but it created a vertical line. If I wanna make another, if I wanna create another line, I can keep typing at, let's say 1.5 less than 45 enter it created a line with uh, 1.5 units uh, with an angle of 45 degrees this is how polar coordinates work you type at the distance less than and the angle that you need let's uh, take a look on another two and this is qcat it works the exact same way. We can start a line. I will click here and I will press the space bar and let's create the, those uh, two exact same lines. One with one unit, uh, 90 degrees and, the other, and another line, 1.5 with a 45 degrees. So if I type here at one less than 90, press enter. It creates the first line. If I type at, 1.5 less than 45 enter it creates the exact same line this is how polar coordinates work now let's get back into blender now here uh, we are back in blender and now what if i told you that you can use uh, the, the uh, that exact same feature uh, here in blender but to use it we have to enable an add-on here in Blender called PDT. PDT stands for Precision Drawing Tools, and it's an add-on that ships with Blender for quite some time, I guess, since 2020. And if you go into Edit Preferences, go into the Add-ons tab, type PDT, you, you will see here Precision Drawing Tools. I will enable the add-on and if I press the N key, you will see a new tab here on your sidebar, the 3D viewport sidebar. And PDT has a lot of features. If you expand all of the sections here, there are an incredible array of tools. To use polar coordinates here in PDT, we'll be using this section here called PDT command line, which works in a similar way to what we have in a CAD software. Uh, unfortunately, uh, you can't really use at one uh, less than 90, like we use in a CAD software. We have to use another notation. If you type the question mark and press enter, you will see a list of all the commands available for PDT. Uh, I won't explain each one of them because there are a lot. Uh, we'll be using here two options, the V for extrude vertice only and the Y for directional uh, polar coordinates. Let me press ask 
and we can type this is the way you type uh, polar coordinates in blender before we start using that let me just create here an object we can start with a plane and i will select just a single vertex one important thing about pdt is that you have to set your working plane it always starts with front since i'm on top view i will set my working plane as top and we can start typing the polar coordinates here in pdt the way you uh, type polar coordinates here is uh, v y this is for ver uh, for extrude vertex and the y is for inclination or polar coordinates uh, a directional extrude if you if you will v y the distance that you need for instance one comma and the angle if i press enter now you can see that it creates a line uh not a line an edge it will extrude your vertex using one unit 90 degrees and you, you can keep doing this exact same notation let's create that other line 1.5 comma and 45 degrees enter and you can keep using this exact same notation here for instance let's say i want to create uh, a line that is going down you can use 270 degrees you can keep let's say zero and i want to change this to 3.75 comma 45 degrees oh i forgot to select this uh, this vertex here you can remove this and as you can see it's an incredibly easy way and fast to create 3d models with full precision and this is how we uh, this is how we use uh, polar coordinates here in blender you have to use pdt you have to enable pdt and go into the command line and use this exact notation here v y the distance comma and the angle and this is it i hope you uh, liked this tutorial and if you want to know more about precision modeling with blender uh, specifically about uh, pdt i just released a new uh, book the links will be uh, down here in the description uh, it's called blender 4.0 precise modeling for architecture engineering and 3d printing and of course i'm using a lot of pdt in the in the book the book it's uh, it's uh, available in both english and french uh well i hope you liked the tutorial and i see you next time bye